What's up, YouTubers? I just came from a ride and I made a discovery. I dropped my bike and my engine uh, side case is cracked. So because I don't want to change it, I'm going to JB weld it. Or to do so, I will have to take the oil out. Uh, I'm about to do an oil change anyway. I'm going to take all this oil out and then uh, I'll be able to sand, sandpaper this uh, area and then just put, uh, put some JB weld on. So we're going, to, we're going to show you how to JB weld today. But first, I'm going to take the oil out. Typical for type of writing that I'm doing. It's going to go a little bit on the frame, I don't really care. I'm going to clean this surface. This was JB Weld before, as you can see. But I'm going to clean this area and see exactly how much damage it, it happened. As you can see, it's a nice crack over here. Right over here. So that's something that I'll have to fix. This was JB welded before. This case is that expensive and this JB weld holds pretty good. You want to clean all the oils and other things that might be in here so you don't want to have it dirty. Okay guys, is anybody ready to JB weld this bitch? Well, uh, the hardest part was to find a disposable container which I found a kind of like a lid kind of a thing. So I'm going to have to mix these two little tubes for the JB Weld, the red one and the black one, and I have to let them uh, mix up and then uh, I'll go from there. So let me find a stick or something. Are so you ready to JB Weld? So I cleaned this area surface very, very nice. Uh, it's nice and smooth. I went and bought myself some JB Weld. So it comes in two little packages. And uh, the hardest thing was to find something to, apl uh, to apply with, and I found a zip tie. And um, I have this little container. It said that you have to use a disposable container to mix the bullshit together and uh, make your JB weld. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the first one up. You have to make a piercing hole over here. This is about $7. Uh, equal, equal amounts of JB weld. So I'm going to put some here. I don't need more than that. I'm going to close this one out. Make sure it's airtight because it's seven dollars, and then I'm gonna open the other one out, and then equal amount. That's about right, and then I'm going to close this one out too, so it doesn't dry out. And now you're supposed to mix them, so they'll make a nice um, surface kind of a great thing so just mix them together really really well you don't want to see any black or any white in it uh, should be a, an homogen color like just one color everywhere you don't need a lot uh, just a little bit will do the job so this is the JB weld is getting mixed Okay, so it's nicely mixed. Now it's just a matter of applying. Now usually I, I should lay the bike on the other side because it droops a little bit, but this time I'm just gonna use very, very little. So I'm just gonna get a nice layer over here. I'm gonna get it into all the scratches and I'm gonna get extra. I'm not gonna fill up just the hole. I'm gonna get into every little crevice and every little crack that I got over here. Uh, it's not gonna hurt, it's just gonna be more in case you know, I lightly drop the bike, it's going to have some, some surface. Uh, I had this JB welder before, as I said, and it held up pretty good, so I'm not even worried about this. This epoxy is just absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to get into every little crevice that I have over here, because every scratch is a weakness in the material, so I'm going to get it in all in, and you have to let it dry for about 20 minutes and you can actually start the bike after that. I'm not going to do that yet. Uh, I'm just going to leave it 24 hours to cure properly. And as I said, I only had a little hole here in the middle where I'm just going to JB weld the entire thing. I'm going to give basically a little bit of a mass to the thing in case, you know, next time I drop it, maybe it's going to save the, the case. There it is and it's going to cure very, very nice. In the meanwhile, I could do my oil change, I could do all the things that I need to do. 
and this six dollars saved me basically buying a new side case I don't have to buy a new one I can guarantee you this is gonna last until I, I, I drop it next time which if I do the next the, the new case would have not done anything it was still crack so this is as strong as it gets no worries whatsoever this will hold or not I have zero doubts it's gonna be working just fine to all the the heat and the pressure that this engine is designed to because I had for about 4,000 miles I already had this and had absolutely zero problems no leak whatsoever okay so why disposable container you want to throw it away